Chinese civilization has gained prosperity of today after several thousand years of heritage, and monetary culture is one of the glow of Chinese civilization. In ancient China, metallic money such as gold, silver, copper, and iron were mainly used. In the early years of the Northern Song Dynasty, 9th century AD, Jiaozi, the world's earliest prototype of paper currency, appeared in Sichuan region of China. In the first year of Tianxiang era of Emperor Renzong of Song, 1023, the government set up the silver note business in Yizhou and formally issued the world's first paper currency guaranteed by public power, Guanjiaozi. That is, six or seven hundred years earlier than in the United States, 1692, France, 1716, and other Western countries. In the eighth year of Jiajing in the Ming Dynasty, 1529, silver formally became currency in circulation in China. In general, silver was used in big transactions, and money, copper money, was used in small transactions. Silver and copper money constituted the main body of China's currency. Silver monetization greatly promoted the development of commodity production and exchange relations in the Ming Dynasty, and cut off the vicious inflation of the Ming Dynasty and attracted a large number of silver imports from overseas, bringing unprecedented prosperity of China's market economy from the 16th to 18th centuries. In order to overcome the shortcomings of silver, which is not portable and difficult to be separated, Chinese businessmen invented a banknote. Depositors deliver the silver to the shop owners, and the shop owners issue notes, that is, banknotes, indicating the amount of silver deposited for the depositors. Depositors can withdraw the silver by returning the banknotes to the shop owners. Banknote was initially a credential for deposit and withdrawal. With the development of commodity economy and the increasingly wide use of banknotes, many businessmen jointly set up shops specializing in the exchange of silver and the issuance of banknotes and set up branches all over the country. Because banknote shops can abide by credit and depositors can withdraw silver at any time, with the banknote being exquisite in design and difficult to counterfeit and having hidden marks, handwritten words and staggered form of black and red the banknotes gained a high reputation. In order to avoid the trouble of silver handling, the instances of paying for the goods directly with banknotes, which can be converted into silver at any time, in the large-scale transactions among businessmen were gradually increasing. It is in the process of repeated circulation that banknotes gradually became the mainstream credit currency in ancient China. In the third year of Daoguang in the Qing Dynasty, 1823, Lei Lutai, a Shanxi native, opened a Ru Shangchang pigment shop. He often traveled between Shanxi and Sichuan to do business. In order to solve the inconvenience caused by carrying a large amount of silver in his business, the shrewd Lei Lutai came up with a method of easily accessible withdrawal and established Shanxi Draft Bank and branches in Sichuan. The purchase money can be deposited in Shanxi Draft Bank and paid by Sichuan branches. Later, Rusheng Chang opened over 20 branches in some big cities to not only serve the Shanxi Draft Bank, but also offer service for other businessmen. Banks based on silver money exchange emerged at the historic moment, which gradually facilitated commercial payment methods and promoted the development of commodity circulation and productivity. Lei's family also became the originator of modern financial industry in China by the creation of Draft Bank. Shanxi Draft Bank has become a special symbol for the development of China's financial industry. It not only represents the startup and development of China's financial industry, but also represents a set of native financial management system in China. The footprints of Shanxi Draft Bank were not only spread across the mainland China, but also in Mongolia, Russia, Japan, Singapore, Europe, and the United States, Africa, and other places. At the most brilliant time, the total number of head office reached 45, with more than 400 branches in 85 cities at home and in several cities abroad, ranging from Guangdong, Guangxi, Yunnan, and Guizhou in the south, to Xinjiang in the north. Every large port city had the signboard of Draft Bank, 
Shanxi Draft Bank almost monopolized financial exchange of the whole country and was called the World of Exchange, which had a huge impact on China's financial industry. The World of Exchange also makes the world of trade possible. Double entry bookkeeping was formally emerged in Genoa, Italy on November 10, 1494. Double entry bookkeeping can accurately calculate how much profits the enterprise makes for the first time. Double entry bookkeeping laid the foundation of modern commercial society and gave birth to modern commercial civilization. Blockchain is a kind of accounting technology maintained by many parties. It uses cryptography to ensure the security of transmission and access, and it can achieve consistent data storage and prevent tampering and repudiation. Blockchain is also called distributed accounting technology. Blockchain, as a general purpose technology, can solve a series of difficult problems such as trust machine, value transfer, smart contact, and perfectly connect the physical world with the virtual world, thus bringing a series of revolutionary changes to human society. Goldlinks converges the ancient and modern cultural and technological heritage of China and the West, inherits the essence of ancient Chinese culture, and combines the blockchain distributed computing method to ensure the non-tamperability, irreversibility, consistency, transparency, and fairness of data. In future, we will not disgrace our mission, move forward, and make contributions to changing the world.